name is Dave Benny. I'm with the Port Moody Ecological Society. This is our annual event of Fingerling Festival. It would have been our 31st for the last couple of years because of COVID. It uh, hasn't happened, so we're just trying to get it all back together again. It's been a bit of a rough year. Normally we have about six months to organize this, and we're trying to put it together in a month and a half. And a little difficult. A lot of the groups are sort of not there anymore. Can't contact them. So hopefully in another year they'll all be back and operating again. So, and we're letting go about 19,000 chum salmon. And these little kids who sit beside me here will probably be big kids when they all come back in about three, four years from now. So, which is really good. So, uh, we're releasing 19,000 uh, chum salmon. And but later on the pond beside us here we'll be leasing about 9,000 coho. Well, I think it's around 9,400, something like that, anyways. Less the heron ate, we, which we don't know how many he ate. Our hatchery's been operating 31 years, and we've had an event probably every year down here since. So. Well, in the fall, when the salmon come back, uh, we check them and make sure they're ripe, the female, and we, we bonk them, <laughs> take the eggs out, make sure there's no water on the eggs. Then the male, we rub the be male's belly, and we catch the milk mix them together, then we add water to the eggs. And that way we get over 90% of our uh, fish will be fertilized, or eggs, I mean, will be fertilized. And then we put them in incubation trays, and depending on the water temperature, how fast they hatch, so. Well, around here, it's urban runoff from all the subdivisions up the hill. When they first came down here, was hardly any subdivisions. Now the water lands on the roof from rain runs down the roof, runs down the driveways, and the creek goes up and down really fast, and we have a heavy rainstorm. It can do a lot of damage to the creek, it flash floods on us. And when they're out in the ocean, they're uh, the fish farms and overfishing from foreign fishing fleets. A lot of our water, uh, fish go through American waters in Alaska, so they get picked off up there. They become sort of, they wrap it into some other fishery, figure it's fish for them, but it's actually Canadian fish. So. My name is Edith, I am 10 years old. I am a volunteer at the Fingerling Festival. I've been doing it for about an hour and a half. Um, this is my first year doing it, and I'm showing the kids how to, um, <clears throat> how to release the fish. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sigrid Tellen. I have volunteered here for going on five years. And I usually come about three mornings a week from nine till 11. The job starts in the um, fall with egg take of chum at Alouette River and coho eggs uh, here in uh, Nunes Creek. And today we are releasing chum from Malouette River that were taken in October and November. Both today is about eight, uh, 18,000 eggs that were taken and we have maybe uh, minus 200 for uh, release. So that would be about 17,800 released today and they are ready to go into the ocean. They can uh, go into salt water and, uh, and that's why we call it the Fingerling Festival. It's a community event and that was really started with uh, Dave Benny. He is uh, the one who puts his uh, heart and soul into that particular event. And here to my left, we have coho salmon. And they are um, eggs from this creek here, Noon's Creek. 
and they will not be able to be released into the creek this year. They need to stay in fresh water for another year. And at, in June or sometime in the end of June, they will be released into our pond, winter pond, to spend the winter there. And whereas the ones who are in the pond now, it's Hoho, will be released into the ocean and they are then ready. It's called the smolting stage. They can then go in swimming to salt water. Uh, and hopefully come the fall we will see some return. We release a lot of chum here every year and um, that the return is very poor unfortunately. So we wonder what's happening to them. They spend about four years in the ocean and they can swim quite far up to the international waters. And I think there are a lot of big trawlers taking fish, a lot of fish, scooping up everything. So, and I think that's causing poor return of the chum. Coho has been uh, doing a little bit better. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will see a healthy return of both species. are directly from the stream since there's a golf course right over there all the runoff from the balls comes down and it pollutes the ocean so these are the balls that were caught and we're trying to reduce reuse if people are interested in buying them and then we also have bulbs from the city of Port Moody they're five dollars per flat daffodils and hyacinths